Hey everybody, so this is going to be my beauty favorites for August 2014 and I have them all down here in a box so I'm just going to get started and I'm going to get started with a couple of new products that I purchased over the month of August that are definitely my favorites. The first one is from the brand Bite Beauty. Now I've wanted to try one of their lipsticks or lip products for quite a while now just because I love the fact that it's all um, food grade ingredient so when you know you inevitably end up eating your lipstick when you eat something so just like the fact that it's all um, food grade so I would definitely want to try it out however every time I went into Sephora the one color that I wanted I think it was called Syra S-Y-R-A-H love that color always sold out and I haven't per like needed to make an online purchase in a long time so I didn't want to just make an online purchase for the one color so Anyways, last time I was at Sephora, I was going through the checkout where all the little sample things are, of course, and I ran across this, and it's from Bite, and it's a dual-ended little lipstick sample. And I looked at the colors, and only one color really appealed to me. This is the color Lychee, and it's like a nude pink color, and I was like, oh yeah, I would definitely wear that. I'll swatch it for you. Um, so I bought it because I wanted to try this color out, and I just really I wanted to try out the brand and the formula. The other color I didn't think I'd get much use out of, but it didn't matter to me because I think this was like $10, so that was pretty inexpensive. The other color is Musk. That's what it looks like there. So there it is, swatched there, and I just thought it would be too dark for me. I didn't think it would be something I'd be interested in. But to my surprise, when I got home, I tried both on, and I actually like this color better. I'm wearing it right now. I'll zoom in. I just feel like it's a very natural, I'll put more on. Hard to do in a viewfinder, but just a very natural color. It just kind of looks like my actual lip color. Um, so I was really pleased to find out that I get to use both colors, and I'm super happy with them. And I love the formula. It's very, very smooth. Um, pretty long wearing, not super long wearing, but very smooth. It doesn't patch off funny or anything like that. So I will definitely be checking out more um, colors in this line. Hopefully, I can get a hold of that one that I've been wanting. So that's the first one. Again, when I was checking out in the little um, Sephora like samples aisle thing, I came across this and definitely caught my eye. It's from NARS and it's the NARS Duo in Orgasm and Laguna. Now they have a large size of this. I've never seen the smaller one. I can't remember how much this cost me. It wasn't very much. It was obviously worth it for me to buy the smaller one. The, the big one of this I think is like 40 something dollars. But I was running out of Laguna, so this is by far my favorite bronzer this summer, so I needed another Laguna anyways. I didn't want to buy the full-size one, because again, it's like close to $50 for a bronzer, and I'd rather, uh, even though this is going to run out a lot sooner, I'd just rather spend less and get, you know, samples of other things I haven't tried before, such as the Orgasm Blush, which everybody has talked about. I'm sure everybody has seen and swatched. I'll do it for you. Oh, it looks more pigmented on my finger. There it is there. It's like a peachy coral with gold in it. Um, I've swatched it many times, heard a lot about it. You can't see it very well in my hand, but it's right there. Very light swatch. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. Let me tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought I would use it and like it, but I mean, I have a lot of blushes, and I just thought it would compare to a lot of blushes in similar shades. I even have an e.l.f. one, Candid Coral, I think it's called. It's supposed to be a dupe. Definitely not a dupe. Now that I own the real orgasm, there's just something about this, like the shimmer in this blush. It's definitely not too chunky. It looks like it could be in the pan, but when it's on your cheeks, it just gives your cheeks this amazing glow. I don't know if you can tell in the viewfinder, but just such a pretty glow to your cheeks, and then it leaves the color underneath. So pretty much since I bought this a month ago, it's all I've been wearing. I use the bronzer and I use the blush and it's a favorite for sure. All right, and another makeup product was actually sent to me by Influencer and I did a whole review on this product. I gave it really high reviews during that video and I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. But it is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. Really cute packaging. I don't just love it because of the packaging though. It's a really fantastic mascara. It's got, um, that twisted, I think it's swan neck uh, wand on it, which does make application a lot easier because you can flip it around all different ways and get all the little lashes in the corners out. But the actual formula of this mascara is definitely special. Um, it builds on itself, it doesn't clump, it gives length and volume. It's just amazing. And I'm kind of sad that I tried out such a high, like a high-end brand because 
I think it's around $30 and I just cannot see myself spending that on a mascara. But for the time being, while I own this, this is definitely a favorite. All right, what else? This one I got in a Ipsy box or bag a couple months ago. It's the Marrakesh Ends Argon and Hemp Oil Therapy Split and Mender and Preventer. It's almost gone, so you'll see it in an empty soon. But it's basically like a creamy lotion that you put in the ends of your hair after you shower. It's kind of like a detangler. It helps get the, the tangles out, but it also leaves your hair feeling really soft and smooth. Um, and I just like that it's a cream and not an oil. I don't know, I'm not a big oil fan. I use them, but I like the cream version better. So that's definitely a favorite. This next one um, is by the company Petunia Skincare. I actually will be doing a full review on this line coming up in the next month or so, but this one's my favorite product from the line, and it's the Revitalize Eye Serum. Sea kelp and high hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, ferulic acid, natural active peptides, lots of things in it. That's what it looks like there. And yeah, it's an eye serum. You put it on after your moisturizer or any other serums. It's very smooth um, and it instantly makes me feel like I'm actually doing something to my under eyes. I've used a lot of eye cream, some work, some don't. This one definitely works. I can feel it hydrating and smoothing the fine lines. Um, and it's just, it's something I've been gravitating towards a lot and I really try and make sure I put it on. It doesn't mess with my makeup at all. So I've been really, really happy with it. So that's that. Um, this one I've had in my shower for several months now. I thought I'd mention it. It's from the brand Bend It Hair. Now, Samantha Sherman, if you watch her, Sam Sherman, um, her beauty channel, she's always recommending this brand of shampoo and conditioner. This is the conditioner. So that's the brand there, Bend It Hair. Um, my version is the Macadamia Oil Nourishing Conditioner. I also have the shampoo. Gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of the shampoo. It's sulfate-free, which has a lot to do with it, but I, I do like a lot of sulfate-free shampoos. That one, I just feel like it just doesn't, doesn't do a good enough job of cleaning. The conditioner, however, is wonderful. Um, very thick, creamy, kind of like a hair mask, but for every day. It leaves my hair very soft and smooth, and it smells good, so yeah, that's definitely a winner. And then the last product, I picked up another one. I I think you guys saw this in the recent empties. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Again, <laughs> I did not get the large one. I really should in this because I love this stuff so much. But I was like, I'll just get the cheaper one and when I run out, I'll get another one. I do not use this every day. I use this if I need my makeup to stay on from like morning to night. I have like a lot of things like work and then I gotta go somewhere else. Or if I'm gonna be in the sun for a long, long time and I actually care what my face looks like after it all, um, I'll put this on because it really helps with shine and just keeping my makeup on. So yeah, in the summer I've been using it a lot. I don't think I'll be using it much in the winter, but I just like having it on hand for those special occasions. So that's it. Those are my August uh, beauty favorites. Let me know what yours are down in the comment below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.